Hey Scorpio, welcome into my channel. Alana here with Ascension Tarot. I hope you guys are having a beautiful week so far. I am going to be looking at um, the person on your mind, um, getting uh, your energy towards them, their feelings towards you. This could be an old love, a new love, someone you're interested in, or even just um, even a friend, you know, whoever you've been thinking of. Um, we are going to get a check on the energies between you guys and keep in mind guys we are under the energy right now of a beautiful full moon the full, the first full moon in leo and the first full moon um actually of the year um full uh, leo is a fixed sign so you guys um you fixed signs scorpio um could could be feeling this the most um uh, just a very intense energy, a very emotional energy. Uh, Leo is connected to the heart chakra, so I wouldn't be surprised to see some type of um, romantic connection come out, but you never know. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. So this is, um, if you guys believe in twin flames or soulmates, I've got a twin flame energy coming out here. I don't see that super often. So um, yeah, it says you've activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You've helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. I love that card. It's beautiful. Um, you know, it's it's. There's no attachments. You know, there's no um, attachments to outcome per se. It's just you know, our twin flames, our soulmates, whatever it is that you believe in, a soul connection that, you know nobody can activate us to find our purpose and um, be a catalyst for our growth the way that these people can and again you guys it could be a friendship it could come in the form of a friendship a mother a parent um a mentor you know uh, or a lover it, you know um there's a lot of different ways that these types of relationships can come into our life um, this says, um, you're so special. Um, you're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before and I can't get enough. Wow. This person could have been somebody that you knew. I mean, it does say attached to an ex. So again, um, this could have just been somebody that you guys have known, um, whether they're in your life currently or they are not in your life right now. Um, I am attached to my ex physically, emotionally, or spiritually. So this is obviously with these cards, this is a deep emotional and spiritual bond that you feel with this person, Scorpio. Um, I need space to break this connection. Okay. Wow. Deep card so far. Um, and like I said, um, you guys being a fixed sign uh, with, you know, Leo, the Leo full moon could be very intense energy right now. You guys are could feel especially intuitive, Scorpio, um, at, during this time. Yeah, so let's get into it, Scorpio. Um, again, you guys, I am new to the channel, and I'm very grateful to be here. Um, I love reading for you guys, and um, if this resonates, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. That means so much to me, and it helps me to continue doing what I love here, so... Okay. Um, all right. Scorpio, Scorpio, how does your person, how does Scorpio's person feel about them? How do they feel about Scorpio right now? Thank you. How does Scorpio's person feel about them right now? Thank you. Okay. Um, they feel like you're very abundant, very beautiful, Scorpio, uh, male or female. You're very attractive, very handsome, beautiful. Um, also, that you've got your finances in order, that you're very self-sufficient, and that um, you know, you're know you okay to be on your own. You feel okay on your own. You're doing okay on your own, Scorpio. Um, that you're comfortable. You're in, a, you're in a good place. They see you doing well and being quite abundant, Scorpio. Um, let's see how they view you. Okay. Hmm. All right. So this is a bit of conflict. Um, they could be feeling a little bit intimidated by your success. I got this for another sign. Um, I think it, it might've been cancer. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they could be feeling a little bit intimidated or just conflicted. They could be feeling conflicted right now. 
or they could be viewing you, I'm sorry, they could be viewing you, Scorpio, as um, going through something right now that's that's causing some conflict uh, with, uh, with people around you, Scorpio. Uh, let's see their uh, behavior and actions towards you. Wow, got the star. This is a really um, beautiful connection, Scorpio. This is um, you finding your path um, despite whatever external um, things have come up, whatever people or gossip or fights have come in the way of you. Um, it's like you're, you're on a one track mind here to go towards what it is you want. Um, so let's get some more here, the star. Let's see how you view them. Okay, yeah, it's um, a little, there's a lot of passion here between you guys. You view them as the seven of wands. So um, you might see them or they may make you feel a, a little bit defensive, like you need to protect yourself or stand up for what you want. If there's been conflict between you guys, you're holding your ground, Scorpio, or you see this person as holding their ground. Um, yeah, not wanting to budge, not wanting to give in. Uh, let's look at the um, energy between you guys, judgment. So something here, if this person was somebody that you guys knew uh, from the past, um, like I said, they could be coming back around now wanting a second chance. Um, or if that's not the case, there's been some type of big spiritual lesson that's supposed to have come out of all of this that you guys are, will be learning. Okay, especially if this is um, a soulmate twin flame type of thing. Um, what's the challenge? Okay, stability possibly. Um, you know, uh, maybe you're not feeling stable, okay, with the uh, king of pentacles here. Maybe money was an issue, um, but we'll get more on that. Okay, so let's let's dive a little deeper here for my Scorpios. Yeah, okay. All right, Scorpio. So you guys are the nine of, they see you as the nine of pentacles. Why do they see Scorpio as the nine of pentacles here? Yeah, you feel like they are blocking. There's a little bit of blocked energy here, Scorpio. Um, mm -hmm, a little bit of blocked energy. A little bit of defensiveness towards each other. And a very independent energy here. Let's look at why they feel the Nine of Pentacles towards you. Um, okay. Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, this is in their feeling. So a lot of 3D energy here, a lot of Earth energy. This person could have Earth in their chart. Um, they feel like you're wanting to hold on to some of your stability. You're not wanting to budge, okay? You're not wanting to move out of your comfort zone, all right? You're holding back. You're holding back um, out of a sense of protecting yourself, Scorpio. You wanna protect yourself. You wanna protect what you've built for yourself. And you want to maintain all that you've built for yourself because you're. it looks like you're doing quite well, but um, you've got two nines here, so a lot of change is going on. There's there's some type of big completion that you're trying to get to. You're trying to uh, accomplish some type of goal here, and um, it's taking a lot of determination, a lot of strong determination. And this person feels that you are, um, yeah, holding on, holding on to a sense of um, you're holding on to a sense of 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 pride you know a sense of pride in like a good way though like you're you have boundaries for yourself and you're holding on and holding back because of that because of the boundaries that you've put in place for yourself yeah okay three of discs a lot of 3d energy here and the king of cups um they do view you as someone who would work with them someone who has a beautiful heart space a big heart space this is the first time i've seen any emotions come up in how this person feels for you. I'm sorry, in how this, yeah, in how this person feels for you. So this person feels like you guys could work together. Although they also feel like there's some type of, of boundary crossing here or or that someone's holding back or holding on to um, 
yeah, a sense of strong boundaries, wanting to protect themselves, but that you guys, you know, yeah, that there are deep feelings here, Scorpio. There is love here. And um, also a sense of learning, learning to love, learning to connect maybe more with your emotional side. This person needs to, um, this person saying that they feel like you need to connect more with your emotions, right? Maybe you've prioritized work, Scorpio, or over, over emotions. Hmm, interesting. Why do they view you as the... Um, hmm. This person's saying that they feel like um, the material world is really, really important. Um, like like the material world is, is very important to you, okay? Um, but that it causes some type of um, lack in emotions, Scorpio, because you're, you're busy prioritizing, you know, your coin, your money, and the things in your 3D that you need to do. You're taking care of yourself. Um, but this person's energy, yeah, they're coming in, um, you know, they, they are saying that they see you as, as being very caring and compassionate to those around you, you know, as well. But you're holding on to something about your, um, your boundaries. It's like you're being careful, you know, you're being careful. I want to look at, um, why do they, um, why do they view you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Five of wands to the ace of cups. This person's, um, views you as, um, somebody who's had to fight. Okay. Somebody who's really gone through a lot emotionally, Scorpio. We've got the, uh, five of wands, five of cups to the ace of cups. So, um, you've gone through some tough times emotionally. You've, you've lost, you know, you've lost something in the past here. You may think about the past a lot, Scorpio, or you've had a lot of emotional losses in your past. Um, it could have come through other people or you've just really had to fight to get back to this place of feeling good emotionally, Scorpio. Yeah, there's some type of new opportunity in love after this um, this past sadness, this past loss, um, past conflict that's um, that you've been going through, Scorpio. There's some type of new opportunity in love that's coming in here, an emotional expression that can be tangible in the 3D. Okay, so this person, um, you may have expressed yourself to this person um in a very loving compassionate and caring way that's why we saw the king of cups to the uh the three of pentacles you know maybe you said to this person like you know let's work on this let's let's at least try to you know come together in some sort of meaningful way um and leave leave whatever happened in the past uh in the past yeah it's like it's like bringing a more light-hearted um energy into the connection Scorpio I think is what what's going on here um their actions towards you their behavior towards you is the star so this is a lot of healing you know they, this person is saying so far that they want to heal things it's very very important to them um why is the star coming up for the actions and behaviors of this person towards Scorpio the Nine of Swords to the Empress. To yeah. I think that this person is going to be um they're stressing, okay? They're str they have stressed and um worried and overthought and stayed up at night thinking about how to um how to heal things, how to make things better between you guys because it's something that they feel is on their path. It's something that they feel they have to do, you know. And with the Empress here and the Page of Cups, this person views you in the very high light. You know, they see you as somebody that they want to grow with. Someone, like I said in the beginning, who's very abundant, um, who manifests um, what they want. You know, you don't go chasing it. You you attract it to you. And this person knows that. Um, they see your value. They know that. And they, they want to express something to you, possibly an apology. 
you know, an apology or just just a sweet, um, uh, some type of sweet message. They see you as beautiful. Their actions towards you are, um, yeah, it is, it is a beautiful energy. They want to see growth. They want to see abundance. Um, they also feel like you're someone that, that they can be very comfortable around, you know, even though, yes, there was some type of blockage here. There was some defensiveness. Um, there, there's this person saying that they want to work through it. Yeah. On the split, we have nine of pentacles, nine of cups. I mean, this is an independent energy. So if this person's not coming towards you, they're trying to do a lot of healing on their own. Okay. Um, yeah, this person's trying to heal. They want things to get better. Okay. And they stress about it. They definitely stress about it. Why do you feel the, uh, the seven of wands towards them? Why does Scorpio feel the seven of wands? The four of swords, a lot of fours. So there's a lot of balance that's needing to take place here. Um, I think both of you guys are trying to find balance and stability and like be comfortable. I don't, I don't know that you guys are really wanting to step out of your comfort zone right now, or there could be a need to step out of your comfort zone. Um, with the judgment card, you know, this could be a big awakening that, um, you know, you guys need to step out of your comfort zone with the four of swords to the seven of wands. So to the chariot. Yeah. To the six of cups. Wow. Okay. So you have rested on Scorpio, the, um, yeah. You are getting rest and you've taken a break, okay? And I really feel like, and I'm just going to say this, this isn't going to be for everybody. Um, your feelings towards them is that uh, I think, I feel that you would really like to, um, there's a protectiveness around this person. You know, you feel like, at yes, you need breaks and you need times on your own. Uh, you need time to yourself to really just... Um, have downtime but at the end of the day there is um there's a need to stand up for yourself to fight for what it is that you want and to move in the direction of your heart space here and that heart space is moving towards um somebody from your past um that you still are quite nostalgic about okay and doing it with a very strong will with a strength with um uh, a strength of conviction here Okay, there's respect here. There's a very, very strong will showing up here. Okay. Also, I'm getting that, yes, while there's a mutual respect between you guys. Okay, there's mutual respect between you guys and extremely strong willpower. You do get pulled back to the past here. Okay, Scorpio, you, when you go back to the past, you think about the good times, okay? You think about um, the happy memories that you have with this person. Now, you could be um, really trying to resist, resist going in that direction, re resist going back to that person, or resist staying stuck in that, um, you know, the past kind of bringing you back because we do have, um, we do have judgment here in the shared energy and the, um, the overview between the two of you guys. And this is an energy of the past returning. It's also a huge choice. It's a big spiritual transformation that's coming in here. And you're, um, you're blocking, you're feeling like a little self-protective. Like I need to protect myself. I need to protect my boundaries and I need to have some time on my own to really think about things. Four of swords. You are, yeah, you're just not quite sure yet. Something about this person or this situation makes you feel like you need to have your guard up a little bit. And this person is saying that they know that, you know, because they see you as the nine of wands, which is also, you know, um, it's, it's a lot of determination. This person saying that they feel, um, they could feel like you, you know, make them, um, also feel guarded, but that this person, okay uh has this like i can give it one more chance like i'm tired i'm exhausted but 
I could give this one more chance, okay? Because then they've got the King of Cups in their feelings towards you. This is a lot of love. This is a big heart space and a lot of compassion. Um, it's a very mature, though. It's a very mature, someone who's mature emotionally, okay? And, um, yeah. And they, they feel that you're mature emotionally. I mean, it's a great energy here with the three of discs working together. It's, it's working together, but like starting from the ground up, like rebuilding, okay? Like even a friendship. Like even, even if it's friends, it's got to start somewhere. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, there was some type of, some type of dwelling or they view, maybe they view you as dwelling on the past, okay? Uh, but but when they they say this, they're, they're saying that they view you as dwelling on the negative of the past, like the things that did not work out between you guys. Um, and instead of seeing the positives of the past, they see you as viewing the negatives of the past, the hurt, the disappointments. And that's okay. I mean, maybe Scorpio, you're just not over it yet. You're still processing it, okay? But you've got a lot of beautiful... Um, big heart space you've got a ton of willpower and determination to move to move through this this energy and it's funny because not funny but they view you as like ruminating in past sadness but you view them or how you feel about them actually how you feel about them is i don't see you you know being down in the dumps per se when you think about this person because you actually think about the happy times, okay? I'm sure you have moments where you, you know, think about the happy times and, you know, the things that didn't work out. But um, this person wants to kind of clean the slate. And, um, you know, there is the energy here of the potential of, you know, new emotional expression and, and something new coming in here. Even new money, new new opportunities okay let's look at the um the judgment for the shared energy what is this choices um this is also like um making amends okay with the past making amends with our choices the choices that we made in the past and um you know forgiveness forgiving of ourselves forgiving of of others uh, it's a big spiritual energy. All right, show me judgment for the um, the overview, the share, death. Okay, yeah. Transition, huge transition here and wanting to go in a new direction. There's been some type of ending here. Um, definitely an ending and, um, and a big awakening. Okay, a big transition. This is a big energy, okay? Big energy that's coming in between you, the two of you, Scorpio, and you're feeling it, especially on this full moon. Um, big transformational energy. Uh, you you feel excited though, okay? There's something new that's coming in here, a new journey, um, something that's getting you excited again. But there's options. I mean, there's there's a little bit of an emotional um, like confusion here. Not everything is clear. Okay, you're still working through your emotions, both of you. Um, but there's something here that has the potential to grow. There's something that has the potential to take you in a whole new direction, and you're you're analyzing your options. You know, you know that this could take you somewhere, but you're you're reviewing your choices. Um, yeah, you're still going through this big spiritual so the spiritual awakening. It's a big. I want to get one more on that um, that Seven of Cups for you guys. What is that? Like I said, it's it's a little bit emotionally overwhelming. Or um, yeah, let me see that Seven of Cups for Scorpio in the uh, the energy between the two of you guys. The overview Seven of Cups for Scorpio. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, it's the energy of that the um, the future is just a little bit unclear right now, okay? But you feel something new is brewing. There's something new exciting. There's an exciting new energy coming in. 
you're making plans for the future and you're getting excited for the future, Scorpio, but not everything is um, completely known yet. Uh, there's different options. There's different paths you can take. And I don't feel that you've completely made a concrete decision right now. And that's okay. But you are moving. What you do know is that for you to have this new opportunity and this choose this new path, um, you've got to leave the past behind. Okay? You've got to move on from the past and any negative thinking. Um, and uh, you're still, like I said before, you're still in a big transition. You're not on the other side of it yet. You're still moving through it. But I feel like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? And that there's new opportunities emerging for you. There's, there's a new energy coming in, which is beautiful. You, but you are on your journey. You are looking ahead, Scorpio. And that's really, that's exciting. Very exciting. I want to see why the challenge here is the... Um... <sighs> I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. That's the challenge. You could feel... You could feel some temptation, okay? I just got that. Something could be um, tempting or just feel feel like you need to break. You need to break out of something that was um, restricting you, okay? Or holding you back, Scorpio. It could be, you know, unhealthy habits or just an unhealthy um, connection. Um, let's see this. King of Pentacles, show me why is this the challenge for Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. I think that um, you're trying to break away from this and it's proving to be very difficult. Okay. You're very tempted to um, go back to it. Is and this this is not going to be for everybody okay but we've got the challenge here is the king and queen of pentacles which is a match okay but then we've got the five of pentacles okay so this is a break this is um lack something's lacking here if if you guys have not physically separated there's something lacking here there's there's something that's off between the two of you guys um yeah, and that's the challenge. Or or for another group of you guys, you you guys are a perfect match. I mean, really, you guys feel good together. You guys feel comfortable together. Um, and there was already a separation, okay? And this person's trying to come back. And in you, um, there needs to be more work on the, what happened in the past to like bring in this new opportunity. There needs to be more healing, okay, with the star. There's there's a lot there's there's a lot more healing that needs to be done here, uh, more growth, more self love, focusing on self love, and um, letting go of this um, the stress because there's still there's still a lot of stress in this person's behavior here. Why the uh, okay again yeah. Hmm. Somebody here. Um, Somebody walked away, okay, from this connection to focus on themselves, but it may, it, it, it's not without, um, it, they didn't do it because they didn't have love for the other person, okay, they, there were still feelings here, there are still feelings, uh, when this break occurred, um, but for some reason things just there needed to be a separation, okay? Because someone here is on their own. This is like a single energy. And and it looks like they're not happy. They're not happy to be on their own. This person's not happy to be on their own. Okay, they're still sad. Um, they may be, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's a new direction that this person's going into, um, but they still carry a lot of burdens, okay? They still carry a lot of guilt from the past. Um, yeah, which, yeah, that's tough. I mean, that's tough energy. 
Um, there's still, yeah, there's still feelings of the past. I mean, this person saying, you know, starting all over is hard. It's hard to start over. You know, there's a lot on this. There's a lot of weight on this person's shoulders. And, um, like I said, the, when this person walked away or when the two of you guys decided to walk away from each other, it wasn't, it wasn't for a lack of feelings. It was, um, the con on the contrary, there were still feelings there, but there was too much of a focus on what was not working, what too much focus on the negative and what was lacking here. Something was lacking and um, there is some regret. Absolutely. There's regret. I almost feel like someone here um, felt like they didn't know what they had until it was gone, you know, and now this person uh, stresses a lot because they've they're like you're you know you're my star and I, I still there's it's a page but the page and the empress this is emotional expression wanting to see growth wanting to um, feel comfortable expressing themselves this person wants to express themselves to you but they've got to find the self-love to do it Okay, they've got to love themselves and feel comfortable enough in their own skin to express, to take steps forward, to to give you the love that they know you deserve. But the, like I said, they stress about it. They get all up in their head. And it could keep them from even moving towards you. So, whew, that was an intense energy. Very intense. But, you know, I figured that it would be on this um, on this full moon. It's not a full moon today, you guys. We're just under this this energy of uh, a full moon. And like I said, it's fixed. You're fixed. We're under fixed fire. You're fixed water. So fire and water. Um, yeah, make a pretty uh, sun and moon energy, right? So it's a very, a uh, lot of dualities. Um, so like I said, while you could be feeling, yeah, a lot of sadness, there's also um, a lot of opportunities here for new love. Okay, new love, new growth, um, new money coming in here. So um, I do see beautiful things coming in for you guys, Scorpio. It's just, it's just you guys are still on. Um, you're not quite through this big journey yet, and this is big, a lot of transitional energy here. So um, yeah, just you know, keep moving through it. This is a big, a big. I want to say spiritual awakening, but this is very spiritual energy that you guys are going through. So, you know, whatever you guys choose to do, um, you've got free will. You know, this is just kind of helping you move through the energies and the feelings that you guys may be going through right now, Scorpio. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope that this helped you guys. Please let me know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my videos. Scorpio, I'll be checking in with you guys um, next week. And until then, uh, many blessings. Thank you guys. Bye.